sizes. With strong muscles and strong legs, the leap is one of the most effective means to cover ground quickly. From big cats to antelope, from big birds to spiders, this is a high-octane fight to survive. Life for some is literally a race. To stay alive, they have to run the fastest. They have to keep running for the longest, and they must have some extra tricks. They must do it every day, many times a day, just to stay alive. And the best place for running is where there's lots of space. The vast savannas of Africa, the open prairies of America, and the great red deserts of Australia. Animals who have survived here have used countless generations to evolve their ability to run and run. Some have long legs, some have strong muscles, others have light bodies or sheer force of will. The need to run has led to a huge range of sizes and shapes, but all have one thing that links them, to win they must run like the wind. One gold medal sprinter is way ahead of the rest. Every detail of his body is built for speed. The cheetah. These big cats live where competition for predator and prey is at its most intense. The African savanna, the greatest concentration of large animals on Earth. The herds here contain almost two million wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle. And this is the big cat that can outrun them all. He is slim and light, with long legs built for sprinting. A lone male is hungry. He needs to eat about three kilos of food every day, and today he has been out of luck. Then, a herd of Thompson's gazelle, The cheetah needs to get very close to the gazelles before he reveals himself. Creeping through the grass in silence. The cheetah is completely focused on his target. The gazelle senses something is wrong. The cheetah can accelerate to 75 kilometers an hour in less than two seconds. Soon, he reaches a top speed of 120. The gazelle is also fast, almost as fast as the cheetah. With competitors like these, the race is very close. But the fastest doesn't always win. After less than a minute, the cheetah collapses. He cannot keep up his top speed for more than a minute. If he fails, the race is over. He has been taking 150 breaths per minute, and his body temperature has reached over 40 degrees. He may need half an hour to recover before he's ready to hunt again. The Thompson's gazelle has escaped this time. Cheetahs hunt by sight. They have a wide-angle field of view and extremely sharp vision. Even the cheetah's stunning eyeliner has a purpose. His black tear marks prevent reflected sunlight from getting into his eyes. The Thompson's gazelle. He needs to get within 30 meters. Then he's off. The cheetah has oversized heart and lungs, so he can effectively get oxygen into those high power muscles. Even his nostrils are bigger, so he can suck in more air. His flexible spine acts like a spring, 
adding energy with every bound. His long tail is a rudder, so he can make sharp turns in the chase. The cheetah has a 50-50 chance of victory. Cheetahs kill by suffocating the prey with a firm bite on the neck. The cheetah gets a meal. He lives to race another day. Cheetah cubs stand a high chance of being taken by bigger cats like leopards and lions. The likelihood of these cubs making it to adulthood is around 50%, but in some places it is even worse. In the densely populated Serengeti, only one in 10 cubs will survive to become adults. These young cheetahs have a lot to learn. The mother will remain with them to teach them everything she knows. From hunting and stalking, to catching and killing. After 18 months, the female leaves her cubs. Now it's up to them to run the daily high-speed races to survive. <laughs>